Nobody said we're going to build. Yeah. And we're going to prosper. We're going to prosper. You know what? It's like any Fortune 500 club. The best place to be is on the beginning. I've got an aunt. Told Brother Lanza about it. Her name is Alice. Sweet little Alice. She's 90 years old. But several years ago, down in the, in the old hick part of Missouri, down in the bottom end of Missouri, she went into her bank guy one day, and she was making a deposit. And Alice, she said, Alice, come in here. I got something I want to show you. She said, what's that? She said, come in here. He said, I know you've been looking for some investments. I got something that you might just like. She said, it's a brand new company that just come out. I want you to buy $2,000 worth of stock in this new company called Walmart. Alice can burn all the silver money back. Right. Thank God I'm a favorite nephew. Yeah. All right? I got favor. Yes. All right. I'm a favorite friend. What we're saying is this. Alice didn't wait until yesterday to get on board this thing. Thank God for them to do. They're going to be, they're going to be all right. But friend, I'm going to come up with a congregation. Amen. It's on the beginning of a building program yeah. that's going to prosper. Amen. And guess what? You help lay the foundation to a building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to rise up. I'm not worried about that man of God. God took care of him yesterday. He did. He did. Since the was back behind me praying, I didn't hear her praying. But she said, oh God, tell Jack to say something. Folks, when I tell you, the Holy Ghost moved upon me. I almost went to the yes, The Holy Ghost, the language, man, I began to talk in the tongue and tongues and as it began to flow out of me. And then there was peace. Thank God for calling us peace. Yes. Well, what I'm saying is this. God spoke to my brother Ranzano and said, You will be old. And you will be awesome. But you've got to take on the spirit of exile. That says it might have to happen nine times. All right. Nine. nine. But he went through it nine times right. of purging, yes. of going back and asking God to forgive him. All I know is this, when troubles come, we can have confidence and find that peace by relying on God that we get a holy end when everything's going right. Oh, somebody say, Amen. Amen. Okay, here we go. Charles Malik said this. Listen to this. He said, Success is neither vain, wealth, nor power. Rather, it's seeking, knowing, loving, and obeying God. Yes. If you seek, you will know. If you know, you will love. If you love, you will obey. Yes. You better hear this man of God. If you want to prosper, if you want to build something, not only in your life, but, but in his kingdom, in his valley,
The end of God is going to shake you all day long. All right, then at 4 o'clock, peace comes. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm telling you, there's a call from God. This valley is over there. Yes, it is. Yes, Pouring out a star God. Right. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If you seek Him. I told Pastor, seek Him one full day. Mm -hmm. That one full day will turn into two full days. And you'll find out you, you know, that's what he said earlier. Next thing you know, you'll go two days. You'll be alone with him, and you'll shut that phone off. You'll, you'll forget about anybody saying, say, nobody call me unless somebody dies. So I don't know what day that him and, him and uh, uh, Sister Monsanto is going to pick to do their day. But you better leave them alone. That's right. Let me tell you something. I'm telling you, on the holy, the holy authority of God, pick you a day. Pick you a seven. You don't have to be something. Pick you a day when you forget about everything. You lock yourself up. You go somewhere and you pray. Well, preacher, I'm just, I'm just busy. Let me tell you something. Don't get too busy to be busy. You've got to, you got to, folks, you've got to set time on side for God. Because you don't, God knows how to do things to get you on your knees. I know wants to prosper in this place. Just stand your feet if you want to prosper. Come on. How many wants God to build a fabulous church in this valley? Yeah. You hear this preacher? My God, I have some more. This verse, Jesus said, but seek ye what? First. If I say first, first. the kingdom of God. Yeah. You ready for this? God slapped you with this today. Seek, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. What's going to happen? And all of these things shall be added unto you. I said, God, what you said? He said, if you want the Lord to add to your life, seek Him. Seek the King. Before you do anything, seek Him. Seek Him. Everybody said, I'm going to seek Him. Not just at church, but I'm going to seek Him. I'm going to fight Him. I've got to know Him. Folks, you hear this preacher. I can truthfully say that my mission for these two weeks have come down to the last two days. God brought me out of here for these last two days. All the other stuff that happened, all my good brother back here, the was not the Holy Ghost, the was not renewed. But God has brought me. That's just extra for what God was preparing to do tonight. That's just God saying to you, I'm here. I allow people to get the Holy Ghost with the on and let you know that God's here. Right. That God hadn't walked out the back door. Yes. That God hadn't forsaken you. You hear me? Stick with God. Yeah. Oh, somebody close your eyes say, I'm going to stick with God. Say, I'm going to stick with the church. Say, I'm going to stick with the man of God. Can I tell you something? You cannot lose by sticking with the man of God. Amen. In the church. Amen. Woe unto anybody. It holds a tongue that says anything about a man of God. Amen. Not to try to build him up, but let me tell you something. That's God's shepherd. That's God's man to lead. He don't drive you. I know that for a fact. Some pastors drive their sins. This man leads you. He ain't hard on you. He can be a lot harder. That's just the passion side of going. Don't, don't be fooled by that bald head. But what I'm saying is this. There's going to be some drastic changes in your life. God said, Jeff, you've got to get through them. I want to know them. But I just, I can't know them just on Sundays and Thursdays. Folks, if you're just waiting for church before you can barely, all you're doing is just existing. You're not getting nowhere fast. You're just plotting. Folks, if you're going to be going through one situation after the next, I'm saying to you on the authority of God, seek Him first. And all these other things will be built. All these other things will prosper. Amen. 